Hey guys, so yesterday I got this message of a guy that wants to know how to make a health bar. Now you could just have this be the health. It, this is a counter by the way, so you want to click here, search up counter and get the counter in. And then you can set the initial value to 100 because you want to start at full health. And then you have to set the minimum value to be a 0 and the maximum value to be 100 or the counter is going to be glitched. Now you can have it be like this. And for example, oh, we're just going to pretend that when I click, something is damaging the player. Uh, 10. You don't have to do this step. You can do the subtraction however you want. You can have it now, so that when you start, every time something damages you, it takes 10 health away. Or you can do the more, the way I like, to is to make a horizontal bar. And you want to make it from left to right. And you can make a gradient, or you can make it solid color. I like having it gradient, though. The health looks kind of better like that. So, now if we click, it's going to be a health bar. So, maybe just put this as an example. This is going to be the player. Let's make a... What? Eight directional movement. Yay. And then we're going to insert an enemy, and let's just make him red, like that. Let's copy and paste him to enemies, and let's make them bouncy ball, like that. Yay. So when... So now we got to make the enemy bounds so let's just go to movement no wait position test position of active if he's leaving the frame make him bounce you don't have to do this this is just to make an example and when he collides with the player subtract maybe you do 50 this time and when the counter equals zero let's restart the frame now we restart to the application. So look, near how now we have the player here, and when he collides with an enemy, he loses health. Oh, he died. Oh, come on, yay, restart. So that's how to make a health bar in Clicked Infusion 5 in a 2.5 in a nutshell.